Could a hidden engine deep inside our planet really be ripping Africa apart? Is the ground beneath our feet shifting in ways that defy expectation? What might the future hold as an immense plume of heat and rock stirs under the East African rift? These provocative questions are no crackpot conjecture. Recent geophysical research shows an enormous upwelling of molten rock. A mantle superplume is rising beneath Africa, warping the crust and potentially rewriting the continent's destiny. Images of the region's striking landscapes hint at the drama. For scale, the East African Rift System, EARS, spans roughly 2,175 miles, about 3,500 kilometres, from the Red Sea down to Mozambique. Satellite and aerial photos reveal a scar crossing highlands and plains, the visible trace of tectonic plates, the Nubian and Somali plates, pulling apart. This continent-wide rift, the largest active continental rift on Earth, is underlain by an even more titanic feature deep underground, a rising column of superheated mantle rock. The East African Rift Valley in Ethiopia, with its deep valleys and volcanoes, is the surface expression of the immense forces at work underground. Geologists now believe the rift's strange distortions are driven by a mushroom-shaped plume of ultra-hot mantle rock ascending from deep within the earth. Imaging and geochemical data show this plume, sometimes called the African superplume, originates near the core mantle boundary and extends upward nearly to the crust. In practical terms, this means a warm, buoyant jet of material is pushing upward under East Africa, altering how the lithosphere, crust plus upper mantle, behaves. Seismic and GPS studies confirm that this deep source is not just a local hotspot. It's a connected thermal engine that stretches almost the entire length of the rift. Recent isotope analyses of Kenyan geothermal gases, for instance, found neon and helium signatures matching the primordial deep mantle found in the Afar plume and western branches of the rift. In other words, the same deep reservoir of hot rock seems to underlie all of East Africa. One new study even tracks a uniform isotopic superplume mantle from the Indian Ocean all the way to the Red Sea, implying a single continuous upwelling beneath the continent. Put simply, the evidence points to one giant plume feeding volcanic and tectonic activity from Madagascar to the Middle East. The mechanics of how the plume distorts the crust are complex. Normally, continental rifts form perpendicular to the direction the plates are pulling apart, like cracks in dough when stretched. In East Africa, however, geodesy and structural mapping reveal an unusual pattern. In addition to the expected east-west extension, there is a significant north-south component of motion along the rift. In practical terms, parts of the crust are being pushed northward by forces under the rift, a signature that puzzled geoscientists for years. Modern experiments now pin the blame squarely on the superplume's flow. In a March 2023 paper, researchers used GPS measurements and three-dimensional thermomechanical models to show that northward mantle flow from the African superplume drives these odd deformations. As one report explains, the plume's massive upwelling of molten rock from the core is carrying material northward, producing tectonic strain parallel to the rift's axis. In effect, the plume acts like a viscous hot conveyor belt deep below Africa. The rising plume material, though less viscous than solid rock, sticks to the underside of the lithosphere and gradually drags it in its flow direction. To illustrate this, one researcher used a toy analogy. Imagine two layers of silly putty, one weak and one strong. 
pull the weaker layer sideways and it will slowly grab the upper stronger layer along the boundary, eventually pulling it too. In geological reality, that weaker putty is the hot, buoyant plume rising up, and the stronger putty is Africa's more rigid lithosphere. As the plume shifts northward, it pulls the overlying crust along in that direction. This insight explains why the rift's motion is not purely east-west as expected from plate divergence, but includes an anomalous northward component. It also confirms that the superplume is an active agent in tearing the continent, not just a passive upwelling. What exactly is this superplume? Geologists define a mantle plume as an upwelling of exceptionally hot rock rising buoyantly from the deep mantle. These plumes are thought to originate near the core mantle boundary, roughly 2,900 kilometers down, where heat from Earth's iron outer core causes pockets of mantle rock to become less dense and rise. As a plume ascends, decompression causes melting and the hot rock transfers heat upward toward the lithosphere. The African superplume is essentially a vast, domed bulge of anomalously warm mantle beneath southern and eastern Africa, often called the African Large Low Shear Velocity Province, or LLSVP. Seismic imaging has long shown that seismic waves slow down dramatically beneath southern Africa, a hallmark of hot, partially molten rock. These mantle map anomalies have been linked to uplift of the East African highlands and volcanic provinces, but only now are scientists directly confirming their reach. Physico-chemical evidence supports this. A 2019 study of volcanic rocks from submarine ridges found a single isotopic signature all along East Africa, implying that material from the superplume intruded everywhere from the Red Sea to Mozambique. Meanwhile, noble gas studies in South Africa show that gases venting at the surface have the same deep mantle signature, providing the first direct proof that southern Africa itself sits atop a plume of unusually hot mantle. In short, it is now beyond doubt that beneath the East African rift, and indeed much of the continent, is a long-lived semi-molten plume rooted deep in the Earth's interior. These deep processes have visible immediate consequences. The rising plume inflates the crust and asthenosphere, causing large-scale uplift of East African plateaus and weakening the lithosphere by heating it. It also fuels the dramatic volcanism of the region. In Ethiopia and Kenya, dozens of rift volcanoes, such as Erta Ale, Oldoinio Lengai and Kenya's Menengai and Longanot volcanoes regularly erupt basaltic lava or explosive ash, and new fissures open as the rift widens. In fact, the rift celebrated its most recent birth pangs this century. In 2005, a 35-mile fault appeared in Ethiopia, and eruptions split a volcano in two, showing the crust is actively yielding. The plume's heat also raises the temperature of rocks beneath East Africa. For example, in South Africa, a plateau known as the High Veld rises about one kilometre above sea level, with abnormally hot rocks below. Geologists discovered that gases seeping from deep springs there have helium and neon isotopes matching the deep mantle. This was hailed as the first physical evidence that southern Africa lies atop a hotspot plume. Likewise, in East Africa, geothermal springs and volcanoes serve as windows into the plume. Large lava plateaus, flood basalts and rift volcanics bear the geochemical hallmarks of deep mantle melting, linking surface rocks to the plume below. All of these manifestations uplift, extensive rift-related eruptions, and hot geothermal systems are classic plume effects. Indeed, the spreading centre itself is beginning to take on oceanic traits. 
Some rift volcanoes already erupt pillow lavas and mid-ocean ridge basalt chemistry, hinting that oceanic crust is forming in fragments. Over millions of years, geologists expect that continued plume-driven rifting will eventually flood the rift with water, creating a new sea or ocean basin, a sixth ocean, as East Africa literally splits away from the rest of the continent. By now, it's clear that Africa's plume is enormously powerful. But how does it compare with other famous mantle plumes? Geophysicists recognize a handful of superswells, or LLSVPs, on the planet. The African LLSVP under East and Southern Africa and a Pacific LLSVP underlying the South Pacific and Hawaii are the two biggest. Both originate near the core mantle boundary and feed many hot spots. For example, the Pacific superplume fuels the Hawaiian hotspot. The Hawaiian island chain is built as the Pacific plate drifts over a fixed plume. Similarly, the Iceland plume on the mid-Atlantic ridge left its mark beneath Greenland. NASA scientists used geothermal mapping to trace a 20 million year hotspot track for Iceland under Greenland, recording how Greenland moved across a plume that built Iceland about 20 million years ago. Like East Africa, that plume is a fixed heat source punching through moving plates. The East African plume differs in that it lies under a thick continental plate rather than oceanic crust and it spans a wide zone with multiple rift arms. But the basic physics is similar to other hotspots. Slow-moving, fluid mantle brings heat upward, causing buoyant uplift and melting. Plumes heat the asthenosphere and lithosphere and trigger volcanic eruptions as they reach shallow depths. Of course, each plume behaves in its own way. The African superplume is unusually massive and long-lived, affecting hundreds of thousands of square miles of continent. By contrast, the Iceland plume sits on an ocean ridge and forms a volcanic island chain, and the Hawaiian plume underlies oceanic crust, forming seamount chains. Yellowstone in North America is another continental hotspot, but it is thought to originate at the edge of the Pacific LLSVP and has a shorter-lived tail of eruption. In comparison, the East African superplume is like a broad traffic jam beneath Earth's crust. Its heat has baked and thinned the lithosphere, and its ascent is literally bending the ground. Computer models confirm that plumes can do active mechanical work on the plates above. In fact, one recent study emphasizes that plumes are not just passive, static heaters. They may play an active role in reshaping the crust wherever lithosphere is already weak. The stakes of all this are enormous. The African superplume is effectively a continental breakup engine. In the rift zone, its heat and buoyancy drive earthquakes and volcanic hazards today, and it sets the stage for dramatic reconfiguration of the continent over geologic time. In the Afar Triangle, where Africa, Arabia and the Indian Ocean meet, the crust is already so thin that specialists predict seawater will spill in and form a new ocean basin within some five to ten million years. Eventually, East Africa could detach and become a separate mini-continent. On a human timescale, this is far off, but geologically the process is visible now. Researchers using precision GPS and satellite radar can actually watch the plates inch apart by a few millimetres each year. Those tiny motions, driven and amplified by the superplume below, accumulate over millions of years. In places like Ethiopia, large, rifting earthquakes and fissure eruptions have already punctuated the landscape, demonstrating the plume's effect. In a nutshell, the awakening of Africa's superplume is a powerful geological story emerging from new science. Researchers now have multiple lines of evidence, from deep seismic imaging 
to surface geochemistry and GPS, showing that a massive upwelling of hot mantle is altering the East African rift in previously unrecognized ways. This finding rewrites our picture of the rift's mechanics. It is not driven solely by plate divergence and lithospheric buoyancy, but also by a dynamic mantle flow beneath. These insights offer new understanding of how anomalous deformation can happen in East Africa and improve our ability to model how continents break apart. The metaphor of an unstoppable force is apt. Nothing in the shallow crust can easily halt a giant plume rising from Earth's core. Over the coming eons, this hidden furnace will continue to feed volcanism, warping and ultimately rupture, sculpting Africa's future. The ground may seem stable today, but deep beneath lies a world of fiery motion, a subterranean powerhouse reawakening beneath the dark continent. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Earth's hidden forces, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more mind-expanding stories about the restless planet beneath our feet. And if you want to help this video reach more curious minds, tap that hype icon. Let's get this discovery surging across the globe.